according to the laws of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and in the presence of God to celebrate the joy of love and the honor of lifelong commitment as to very special people entrust their hearts, commit their lives, and offer their bodies in marriage. Michael Thomas and the lovely Carrie Elizabeth have chosen this idyllic and romantic beach and the tropical climate of this small island called Nassau, the capital of these 700 islands we call the Bahamas. Before Dan and Wendy, our principal witnesses, the groom and bride will surrender to each other in love's lifelong embrace. Jean, you may now receive your daughter's arrangement with a hug and a kiss. Uh, would you like to kiss your son-in-law, Jean? <laughs> Teacher son -in -law. Thank you kindly. And now, groom and bride, please face each other and hold hands. Michael and Carrie have chosen to spend their lives together, and they have selected this very spot on this small island from which you will witness their brief ceremony of love and commitment. Marriage is unlike any other relationship in the human experience. It is first the celebration of sacred purpose. It is loving someone with a covenant love. And then it is celebrating another's tradition, honoring another's family, and affirming another's heritage. As they look into each other's eyes, as they look into each other's eyes, <laughs> Michael and Carrie will weave a tapestry of one expansive family from the individual cords of two loving hearts. If there is anyone present today who know of any just reason why this man and this woman may not be married and committed to each other for life, I pause at this moment and invite you to stand and to voice your displeasure, or to remain seated and silent for life. <laughs> Who gives Carrie Elizabeth McCann in marriage to this man? Her mother and I. Ty, please stand and approach the bride. Release your little girl with a hug and a kiss. And as you place her hand in the groom's hand, but as you stand at the groom's side and face your wife, holding the groom's hand, Ty, do you, on behalf of Jean, the bride's family, and yourself, have any brief words of advice for Michael? Thank you kindly. Thank you, Ty. Michael, Jean and Ty have paid the ultimate compliment to you. They have literally placed the bride's life in your loving embrace by placing her hands in your strong hands. Dan, you're not doing your job, Dan. <laughs> Good job. He's sweating, Dan. <laughs> this implies lifelong commitment and Michael for you alone it suggests lifelong responsibility do you take Carrie to be your wedded wife Carrie your hand has been offered in marriage by another do you publicly today give yourself in marriage to Michael? The traditional symbol of commitment in marriage is the wedding band, 
Dan will present the band, his brother, with a handshake. Michael, that band is fashioned like a circle, having no beginning or ending. It suggests that you will be committed to and married to carry for life. Place the band on the fourth finger. Present that hand clearly to Ty and Jean. Looking into the bride's eyes, please repeat after me. Carrie Elizabeth McCann. With this ring. With this ring. I the way. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. I will trust and respect you. I will trust and respect you. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. And now the sister-in-law of the bride, Wendy, will present the band with a hug and a kiss. Carrie, the band that you hold in your hand is fashioned from valued metal. It implies that your commitment to the groom will be a pure one and suggests that you, together, will live faithfully for the rest of your lives. Please place the band on the fourth finger as you recite the vow of affirmation. Michael Thomas Randolph. I accept your gift in marriage and I offer this symbol in return. With this ring, I be wed. I will love and honor you. I will trust and respect you. For better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health for the rest of my life. Michael, please take Carrie's ring hand into your ring hand alone. And very carefully, Michael, but briefly, on your knee before Carrie. Michael, please repeat after me. Carrie Elizabeth, with this ring, I promise you, from this day forward, you will not walk alone. My arms will shelter you. My heart will be your home. You will feel deeply loved. You are deeply loved today. Michael, as you kiss Carrie's ring hand, this is how you will begin every morning, Michael. Of your natural life is the sure formula for marital success. Please stand. That's pretty cute. Jean, as you stand with the bouquet, I now invite Mary to stand empty-handed. Jean will now formally welcome Mary to the family with the bouquet, a hug, and a kiss. Mary will now formally welcome to her family her new daughter, her son's wife, with the bouquet, a hug and a kiss. Now release your son. Release him with a hug and a kiss, Mary. <laughs> Bob, please stand. I'd like you now to approach the bride as you welcome her to the family with a hug and a kiss. Standing between the bride and Wendy. Bob. Do you, Bob, on behalf of the groom's family, have any brief words of advice for your new daughter-in-law? No. Thank you, Kaita. Thank you.
and you just slip that in your pocket. Uh, Dan, you're not doing your job. <laughs> All right, bride and groom, everybody, bow your heads. I will offer a short prayer. O oh God of life and love, we ask your blessings today upon this groom and bride and pray that you will seal the commitment that they have just made publicly with your love. As you have brought them together by your divine providence, sanctify them by your spirit, that they may give themselves every day to each other and every moment to thee. Amen. Thank you, Bob. Michael and Carrie are delighted, are delighted that so many of you have traveled from far to share the joy of this moment here with them in Nassau. I believe in the main you are from Illinois. Anybody from any other state? Texas and California and Arizona and Colorado. The groom and bride honor their bridal party, Dan, Brian, and Bobby, Wendy, Sarah, and Jen, along with the parents, Ty and Jean, Bob, Mary, and Bob's wife, Susan, along with the grandmother of the groom, Marbell, and distinguished up. For as much as Michael and Carrie have today agreed to spend their lives together in love, committed and met, and having celebrated the same by the recitation of that and tangibly by the giving and receiving of rape, by the authority vested in me, as a minister and marriage officer in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, I now pronounce that they are husband and wife. Michael, your beautiful wife, Michael and Carrie Randolph. <laughs> I'm going to ask the groom and the bride to remain right there under the canopy. I'd like the bridal court to come to the table. I'm going to invite Wendy to sit to the right, Dan to her left. 